Declare the Kitchen, Joe Smith. Where's Joe Smith? Joe Smith is in everything. I, I can't constantly talk about him. He just the flavors and the thoughts and the thinking and the precision. So, Joe Smith, you're here, but uh, I'd like it to, I know you're incapable with your to work with your husky, the Spartan husky, that you can't come and eat this food, but I'm going to eat this in, your, in spirit of you. Okay, well here's the start of our uh, meal tonight at the uh, the cluttered cook, a little rotini, right? Some uh, we're going to cook some uh, shrimp, and uh, I'm brining the shrimp right here as we speak, uh, in the baking soda and salt, which they tell me is a good thing. We'll try that out. So we're going to try that, and I'm still kind of a work in progress. Now I don't know what you people think about. Should you crush your garlic? before you, you know before you dice it up or does it matter like do you release flavor with this action I don't know but it's kind of fun if you have the right knife and uh, I've got quite a bit of garlic so I like to use as much as I'm, I can kind of fun to use a knife like this you can use a lot of different kinds of knives so this will be I'll chop that a little finer. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We've got some onion from last night. Maybe I'll add that in the mix with my other knife like this. I like this serrated thing. You, you basically can't even hurt yourself if you use it. You, even if you nip yourself a little bit there. So, you know, combine all this. Now, of course, I'll start the onion ahead of the garlic because the garlic will take a less time to cook and we'll make the onion like almost a little nest for the garlic in the pan <coughs> over there to add the garlic a little later okay let's get some things going here let's get the onion in the uh, pan so we can do that and the garlic will wait like we say now I've got a saucepan over there boiling for the getting ready to boil for the uh, rotini so step number two okay now <clears throat> here's where we're kind of acting on the fly I decided I'm gonna have some uh, some green beans now do I want to add them to the boiling water or do I want to put them right in with the onions and to uh, you know let it cook like that and I'm gonna go that route so I'm thinking of uh, having a my beverage for a while here and so I don't want to really mess with these too much for a minute and we'll just let that kind of cook and then kind of simmer all right so we got a uh, put a little lid on that let that simmer started that and we got the boiling water and interestingly enough that top to that pan was given to me at my there's a college graduation present as part of a set and that's the only remaining piece of the set almost 40 years ago <laughs> I'm ashamed to say but it fits things I don't know why you know it's the cluttered kitchen and uh, it kind of fits in so we got the rotini and we're waiting on the garlic and uh, you know we got the becks and the uh, maybach for the time being so let's wait for a second here okay I've been brining the shrimp the sink here for a bit so I think maybe it's time to drain that because you know of course you don't want the salt or the uh, baking soda you know in your food so we'll drain that and get those ready and we have put the, uh, the rotini in here I'll give it a stir should have quite enough water in there but let's go with it boiler alert with the, I'm going to have to get Joe Smith's permission, but we've taken a lot of foodie trips, me and Joe. And uh, we both ran into Anthony Bourdain in, uh, I think it was Genoa or Rome. And we had a couple funny stories where different nights and I don't know. So, but I've got to get his permission on something like that because kind of hush hush. And right, we got that drained. And uh, what I'm thinking of doing is. Uh, cutting that up in some pieces because uh, I don't know I like a lot of little tiny pieces of uh, 
of shrimp rather than just big pieces. So, you know, I'm going to cut that up and the shrimp will be the last thing I'm going to cook. So, we're going to put the uh, garlic in here and I'll uh, put this down to do it. Okay, now to tell you the truth, I almost plan to use peas instead of green beans, you know, for the juxtaposition of the flavoring, you know, so, but you know, green beans is good. Now it's going to really go egg noodles, which I think egg noodles, peas, and shrimp would be maybe my preferable dish, but guess what? I'm going to make this kind of a sturdy thing, the rotini. It'll allow me to drink my beer and to this dish will hold, hold up while I'm in the other room. Alright, but this is where I don't exactly know because my friend Joe Smith maybe he's more imaginative. Now I have to season the shrimp. How am I going to exactly do it? I don't want to overpower it. I kind of had rant till last night. Ty. So alright, well I'm going to go a little tamarind. I'm just going to see what happens. We will see what happens. And uh, it looks like we're getting very much closer on the pasta. Not really. I'll uh, check in on that. The garlic's in there. Nah, not really. Alright, we got about 10 minutes. Late breaking news. Sweet red chili. Let's try some of that. Uh oh. Going a new direction. Okay. What I'm doing is I kind of undercooked the pasta and now I'm going to put a lid on it and see if I can get it to sort of steep in its own juices. And we'll let that sit and everything will be ready for our final preparations. Preparations. Okay, as promised, after like in our own steam, these things have fluffed up. It's going to be perfect. We're going to cool that off and let it. Some people say don't rinse your pasta. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things. Everything's still steeping. That's looking good. Turn on the heat, make sure everything's good. Yeah, we're almost ready. All right, I don't know why this part always makes me nervous. Putting the whole thing together. I get some oils going. You know, I'm thinking uh, maybe a little fish sauce. A lot of this, because this is why I really appreciate the way Joe Smith cooks, because he doesn't worry about this stuff. I put a little bit of black sesame oil in there. Just maybe that can so overwhelm your dish if you're not careful. So this is the part I really want to just fry these suckers up so quick that there's no problems. And then just want to get a little nervous there. You know, because I'm not exactly what you'd call an accomplished cook. So I'm thinking the timing's right on this right here. Uh, yeah. See? Shouldn't get every bit of the cooking show. Whoops. That's not how I want it. Alright, I'm making it. Alright, now let's. Should already have the noodles ready. And. Alright. So then we have to cut a little of that out. Get in some of these in there. And it works out. That's it. Yeah, I can smell that. So, now I wouldn't normally use this block. I have a non-stick one, but this baby here shows up in on the camera, doesn't it? How's that looking? Now a real wok is almost you know, they talk about oh, 700 degrees or something like that. This is certainly nothing like that. Nothing like that. But you want to undercook your pasta a little bit and then let it sort of cook with the sauce. Everybody knows that, right? Nothing new there, right? Hold on a second. I'll look back in a second. Alright, weird. It's almost like I don't trust myself. Get a little mirror in, and now I'm back to adding pad thai sauce. So. I don't know, I'm just nervous about it. I enough to do some flavor in there. Without. Still a little nervous about the whole thing. 
Look, you want to tip it all on the floor. That wouldn't be a very good end to. Hello there, Mr. Joe Smith. What do you think? I kind of having some problems here. The pasta really feels slightly undercooked. I guess I should have used rice noodles or egg noodles, but I think there's a lot of flavor in there. All right, I'm going to cut that for a second and we'll take a look later on the steep. Hello darkness, my old friend. Hello cooking, my old friend. Now let's see how it looks on a plate. There we go, there's some right there. I guess you don't want to let it steep too long because you got shrimp. And so you know it's going to be hard. Alright, it looks pretty good. I like that, but we will see. Time taste will tell us. There we go. Hello taste buds, my old friends. I've come to give you something again. Something from the chef's claret corner. Hmm, might have some Parmesians. Yeah, that looks a little better. I'm kind of a nut for, you know, like the colors on food too. So, I like the white there on that. It's good. Alrighty, folks. Cookie day talk. Hey, folks. Here we are. Still uh, haven't eaten our uh, dish, and now we're thinking we need something a little different before we want to. Our stomachs, and so we're gonna steam some a huge uh, Brussels sprout and some carrots. And then we'll eat that first. Okay, cluttered kitchen. That's two minutes on that. Mmm, that is looking good. That broccoli. It's a good thing to get your stomach first before you know the rotini, etc. Almost like some shrimp in that, but that would be going back in time. All right, folks, he and uh, Mr. Smith, time to clean up and eat.